Okay, today we're going to be updating this Dell 6530 laptop. Um, we're going to upgrade the RAM in this, and we're going to upgrade the hard drive. So we've got a Samsung uh, SSD. This is a one terabyte. This is the 850 EVO. And uh, we're going to be upgrading this to a 16 gig gigabit uh, crucial memory module kit. I'm also, with the upgrade, I have to transfer the existing operating system from the currently installed hard drive to uh, this new one. We're going to be using Clonezilla uh, to, to do the transfer from the existing hard drive to the new drive. USB 3 caddy. Uh, I'm going to put the Samsung drive into the caddy and then use Clonezilla to cl uh, clone it over. This is the uh, SATA to USB 3 adapter. So let's go ahead and open up the Samsung drive. Well, hello, Larry. So we got a little visitor here. All right, say hello, Larry. Okay. There's our SSD. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. So we'll go ahead and plug the USB hard drive into the super speed port on the Dell. F12. And we'll pick the CD-ROM. Okay, so we're gonna choose a language English. And then leave the key map alone. And then we're gonna enter Clonezilla. And we're gonna go de device to device. So we're gonna use the beginner mode. And we're gonna go disk to disk local. So back to, so this is the important part. Don't get this backwards, because this will ruin your day. So the first part is we're going to choose the source. Now the source is gonna be the internal drive. It is also an SSD. It's 256 gigabyte, and we're going to uh, a terabyte or a thousand gigabyte. So the internal disk is the source disk, and the external is the one terabyte. So we're gonna make sure that's highlighted, and we'll press enter. And then there's only one other drive that it sees, which is the destination, and they're calling this the disk the target. And they're warning you that any data on that disk will be lost. And this is the problem if you get it backwards, because you could be writing a blank disk to all your important files. So we'll go ahead and select enter. I'm going to skip disk checking and repairing. And then uh, I'm going to choose what to do at the end of the process. And then press enter to commit, continue. And then it prompts you, warning, warning, warning. Everything is going to be disappeared on... Um, S disk B, and so it asks you want to you continue. Continue. You say yes and enter. They ask you again. Yes. You want to clone the bootloader? Yes. Okay. So now this is going to run. It's collecting the partition information. So now we're going to go through the cloning process. This took about 14 minutes. After the clone is complete, it gives you some options here. I'm going to choose to power off because I'm going to replace the drive. Okay, the next step is we'll disconnect the solid state drive from the USB. Two, one. We'll be taking these two screws out to remove the hard drive tray. Okay, after we have these two screws out, this will slide out. There's the original Samsung drive, and here's the new one. Here's our memory upgrade. To upgrade the memory, we're going to be removing the rest of these screws. This one, this one, that one. And then gently pull this cover up. And I'm going to show you detail about this. On the front side of this plate, there's these clips, and these clips clip into here. So be careful when you're taking this out and putting it back in, but it does hinge in and hinge out. Okay, so now we'll remove the existing memory. So now we'll be installing the memory chips. 
push them down until they click. Now we'll reinstall the cover. So now we'll go through the process of installing the new drive in the drive tray. There's a screw on this side of the tray and we'll just take that screw out. And we'll pull the drive out and then here there's a little uh, holder for a screw. And then we'll pull these um, pull these two covers off, these rubber like holders. This is pretty important because this sets the height when you install the drive into the uh, tray. So make sure you do this right. If not, you can damage the, um, the SATA connection inside the, uh, the laptop. Now we'll reinstall the screw. Now let's reinstall the SSD in the laptop. Now when you're doing this, don't force it because if it's not lined up, you can damage the SATA connector. So now I'll button this up by installing the screws. And the last thing we'll do is install the battery. Now let's test it out. So when it comes back up, you might get a no notice, you should get a notice that the amount of memory has changed. To accept the uh, settings, <clears throat> just hit the F1 key. This is a pretty easy install. We don't even have to go into the BIOS and change any settings. And there we go, our operating system is loading up, but we're not done. We have a few more things to do. You'll notice that's installing the device driver right now. And so it'll want to reboot after the device driver installs. And we'll go ahead and reboot it now. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and log in. And we're going to open my computer up. So now we'll go take a look at my computer. And you can see the C drive, it's only showing uh, four gig of free space. Let's just take, some, uh, take a look at the properties on the drive. Um, and it's showing that the capacity is only 237 gigabytes. So what we'll do is we'll go into the computer management. And we'll go into the disk management. And what you'll see in the disk management is all of this unused space. And so what we want to do is expand the hard drive, this partition, the C partition, to fill up the rest of the space. So we'll do that by right click and we'll say extend volume. And then there's a wizard here and you just say next. It asks you what drive and it uh, has already selected it. And then it's going to extend it for the rest of the space. And you just say finish. Uh, and it's done. So if we go back to uh, File Explorer here, we now see that we have almost 700 gigabytes of free space. So that concludes the video of how to upgrade to RAM and uh, install a solid state drive into your laptop. Um, well, okay, it's black. And. Uh, installation guide, warranty statement, navigator, and manual software CD, and it's glued into the bottom of the package, I guess. Plug that in here, and there you I'm working, sir. <laughs> okay, every time I turn, really? Every time I turn the camera on, Larry wants to get in the camera. Let's do it again to make it look like a former pro, right?